You just feel the wind come to your face. The sound from the wheel touch the ground. You feel you you breeze on the uphill. This make you so so free and so happy. It was when I was a kid and today it's still the same. For him it's life, like body. I don't can live without body. For Anton, bike like body. Yeah, of course, cross country is my favorite discipline. It's short discipline, I mean one and a half hour, and super intense uh, from the start to the finish, you go full gas. The three races where we will be at, all international UCI races. And in Chelva is dry, dusty, rocky, and in Capo Libre, you are on the sea, faster track, yeah. And in Austria, you are in the Alps. Total different track, I mean in the forest, a lot of woods, 100% natural track. This is just not uh, only um, little part of life, it's our life. Yeah, normally I do in the morning before the breakfast some exercise for my activation, like with the, only with the weight of my body, not with uh, big weight on the gym, just to activate my yeah my body to be ready for the for the training. Calpe is a nice place to get ready for first race of the season in Chelva because uh, as you can see terrain is really similar, dusty and rocky and the weather is everyday sunny and warm so it's just perfect conditions to get ready for the upcoming season. I like to go faster in summer and for this, uh, at the beginning of the season, when I start maybe the first race, like we go to Chelva, race by race, I try to be better and go to the shape for the summer. We are in Chelva, Spain, for the International Mountain Bike Cross Country Race. And actually, the first race of the season, well, the level of this race is really high. I think it's one of the hardest mountain bike tracks around the world. It's rough, tough, and like relentless. This track has many different lines. We try many lines during the training. This technical section you can choose uh, like two lines. The short one on the right side, as this guy go now, and turn here into this. But it's really difficult one. When you go full gas here, it's super hard to take this line. Then the easier line is longer. The left one. But here you lose some time. Maybe you can lose one second here. It's not uh, from one side, it's not a lot, but when you go seven laps, for example, it's already seven seconds. To win the race, actually, maybe the last, the last lap, if you want to pass the rider, this one is the shortest one. Just go straight here on this rock, but it's super hard to go up in the race on this rock. And this is a normal line, it is easier to get it. Here we have another really technical section of this course and you have two lines. The left one, actually, the first part is really fast one, but the second part, the over there, the right line actually is faster because more cleaner one. Probably the best way is to take the left one line and then go into the right one. So let's try again and see. 
the second one is faster than the right one. So I think you cannot win the race here, but you can lose it here. <laughs> I think this is a good place to start the season because a really technical track to see level of the riders you now and everybody wants to check uh, the shape so this place is a good one to start. So I start from fourth row, it's not so good position for the start but we have one kilometer of gravel road so I can overtake someone but the problem is everybody wants to overtake one. It was a good test for me and for everybody, I think. But at the moment, it's the first race of the season, and my shape is not uh, in the top now. So, yeah, I only did a base uh, training. I will start now with some intervals, and yeah, nice to be back on the between the tapes. <laughs> I think Cap Oliver is a special place. It's a small island, but special here where the track is so wild. <laughs> the views are just amazing. In the morning you wake up and you see there is Corsica. Just uh, make your breakfast, uh, drink coffee with this view, it's amazing. This uh, booster travel always with me. Done. So now we have 1.3 bar, but before go to the track, right before the entry to the track I check again because with the sun, with the hot weather, uh, change a lot the pressure. I like when it breaks a little bit far from the grip, so I have more space here and feel comfort. I like when the brake, I have brake early and powerful. When I do something, I like to do it 100%. So I like my bike work perfectly because if my bike work perfectly, it help you to make a good result. Normal loop, we go this direction, but the start loop, we go in that direction. 
we have uh, like maybe three minutes full gas gravel uh, white uh, road road uphill and then we have this most technical uh, descent of the course where yeah, in the start loop is super important to be in the front because otherwise you will get big traffic Svetlana is really important for me, I mean, uh, we are the team. <laughs> she does a lot of stuff uh, physically, but the most important is uh, she gives me uh, mental uh, support and mental motivation. She always believes in me, in everything. You know, I am a rider, so sometimes you have a good moments and bad moments, and even in good moments and in bad moments, Svetlana is always super positive and uh, she always believe in everything what we do and that of course give you an extra motivation that is super important from russia in the rba club 11 tokyo 2020 with number nine anton sinsov I had a good start from the front row. Yeah, I think I was riding in top 10. Three, two, one. So I was enjoying the race and then I made a small mistake. Uh, I just touched a tree with my handlebar and so I had a small crash. Then I was riding behind one guy and this descent is really fast. And so you have no time to change uh, the line and uh, I touched that stone and I got a flat tire and then changed the wheel and continued my race. Then was everything okay, but yeah, I lost some time, but catching some riders. In two weeks we go to, to Heiming, Austria. There will be a totally different track, a lot of routes and in the forest in the Alps. Okay, so first day in Heiming and Today is sunny and we go to check the course. For today, for dry conditions, yeah, I go to put now fast, fast tires. Well, then, then we check again tomorrow uh, what conditions we have. Yeah. We're gonna try now the track, but I think on Sunday will be another story with the uh, forecast. I think the 120 millimeters are perfect for that track, and I think it's even better than 100 millimeters. Yeah, and the white tires, I think it's a good when, combo. When, when I'm thinking back in the times when I was racing here with a hardtail. <laughs> And I think the first time, even with a 26 hard tail, I cannot imagine how, how to do it. Crazy. Like now, with the, with the oils, with the 120mm, and the front and the back, it's a yeah. uh, boy, game changer. Game changer. Yeah. Let's go check the last climb of this track. Probably, not probably, 
the hardest part of this course. You must be really clean. If you touch some roots, make mistake, you have to push your bike up. In wet conditions, I don't know. Tomorrow we will check. <laughs> As predicted, rain, eh? So let's make some modification. It's rainy, but not uh, full rain. And in the forest, this kind of terrain, I don't think will be super muddy. So like, uh, higher like medium conditions between uh, muddy and uh, dry. So something medium like this, like recon race. I feel even harder. Some parts you have better grip than yesterday, but the roots are slippery. So. Clean bike, fast bike. Here we go, three hours before the start, time to eat. Slippery roots for today on the menu. Rice, white rice and then slippery roots. I think a good, uh, good mix, eh? <laughs> One, two. One, two. Oh, One, two, easy. I pray for this position. <laughs> Running in second place actually until I got a flat, went to the T zone. Actually, I changed the wheel quite fast. After that, I was riding maybe in I don't know position eight, and the feeling was good. I could catch again the rider back. Come on! 